Hey everybody, welcome to Pinball Parts or Not and the Midwest Gaming Classic Game Hall Edition. So we're doing Pinball Parts or Not and cool things like this that I got from MGC. Look at this, this awesome shirt. I love it. This is the guy that does all the cool alternate translates for um, like Cactus Canyon and stuff like that. Just awesome, awesome artwork. So I have a lot of stuff that we're gonna go through. So we're gonna have a fast video. This is another really cool shirt I got from Spooky. It's kind of um, like 3D-ish. I can't find my 3D glasses right now to see if it's really 3D, but it's a killer shirt. I did buy two of these. I got one for my wife too. Let's see what we got in this bag. This is Game Together Milwaukee. That was a free bag I got from somewhere. This I bought. I love this art from this guy. I actually got a bigger um, art piece of it in my living room. This will be up here for my mouse since it's a mouse pad. Oh, yeah, so much better. And here's his card. You can pause that if you want to. Here's the other side. Awesome artwork. Great guy. Talk to him for a little bit told me the story of that um, art I bought from him. All right. This was free. This is a coin box, I believe, from Williams Games. Um, he just pushed it together. Something like that. Something like that. And it would come out and you'd have your stuff in there. I figure it, I could use it for maybe like a toolbox or something. I don't know. It was free. It didn't cost anything. So I figured I could get some type of use out of that for something. I haven't thought yet. And the reason why you can't see my head is because we're going to focus more on this chair than my head. I got these for five bucks. These are Pin cap protectors, www.pinballfanatic.com. I paid five bucks for these. These go right on to the corners of the cabinet like that. And they protect the art from the legs digging in. Awesome score. Uh, let's just throw it back in a bag. And I got a rubber bushing from something. I have no idea. I will see if anybody is missing one. Unless that was just in the bag. Don't know. I don't know. All right. Another cool thing. I have a soda. Got this Williams Lockdown Bar. I'm gonna try to see if it works on my American Pinball because, um, well, the cheap crap that they use on American Pinball Lockdown Bars, it it would bind up and everything. This one needs a little work, but I got this very cheap. So I will throw this in the chemical bath and get it clean. But the ones that are that come on American Pinball are just garbage. So I'm hoping this will work. I mean, they're just crap garbage. I got some more shooter rods. I got three of them with clips and two different springs. So we got that. 
Uh, I got two other things. I actually got three other things. I got this from my friend John Penderson. This is for the bow and arrow back there. Needs to go on it because the one I got was broke. I got this free, so my customer also got it free. On there, and John was is also a very nice guy. He gave me a spool of um, solder, and he gave me this really retro one soldering iron. Told me this is what I need to use to solder on lugs for um, um, coils. So I will try this on lugs for coils. It's got that old school Bakelite, um, what do you call it, handle. You see, every time he sees one of these anywhere, he buys them up. So he says these are like the best things for um, soldering coil lugs, you know, soldering onto a coil lug. So we will test that out later because I have a coil that I got to put on, what do you call it, bow and arrow. This will go in here. Um, this will be the last bag for the haul of parts I got. I bought a lamp driver board. Don't know if it works, but I got a stack of them that we're doing. A lot of stuff I got from Poor Man's Pinball Podcast. So, they had a booth there at MGC, so... I, he had bags and bags of just junk, and then bags and bags of good stuff. So some of this he just gave me. This one he just gave me, I, I believe, yeah. This one has one belly coil in it. Uh, it's got some lane guides. It's got some nuts and screws. It's got some um, flipper bushings. It's got a bunch of good stuff that is usable and other stuff that is garbage. Like the coil, if that tests out, it's perfect. I get a brand new coil sleeve that I'll put in the coil. Um, what else do I get? This is in perfect shape. It's used, but it's in good shape. Same, oh, this one's got a crack in it, that's garbage. However, we do have a a garbage um, flipper mech, but I can take the Allen wrench screws out of it, reuse those. And that looks like it's for a, a ballet, um, one of those ones with the weird flippers on it, but like I said, the Allen screws are good. Those we can take out. Um, there's an EOS switch in here. Brand new EOS switch, which was good. So yeah, some of this is junk, some of it is clearly garbage. These, I actually do need a couple of these. It's for Playfield. We got like two, three, four. These are very useful. Yeah, there's some of those squiggly nails that are used for um, These nails right here, those, those are used to nail the um, trim on the sides of the cabinet. So we got that. Like I said, um, this one he just gave me. He's like, we're clearing, cleaning up at the end of the day. And he said, here, take it. It's yours. So 
I'm not going to pass up a bag of garbage. This one I did buy for 10 bucks. The reason why I bought this for 10 bucks is because here is a pop bumper coil ring, which is good. This base is good. There's a spring in there that's good. And um, this saucer is garbage. It's got a light socket, which is good. That's 10 bucks right there. This one is broke on the side, so this ring is garbage, but still it's got the base, it's got the spring, and it's got a light socket. Those can all be easily reused. Another light socket. Um, pop up her body, but I probably won't reuse it. Here's another ring that is great to reuse. Um, there are several, several coil stops. Some of them are garbage. There was one in here that looked good. So that can be reused. There's some parts for pop bumpers. These are still good. They can be reused. Skate ball pop bumper caps. Three of them that are in decent condition. They are not perfect, but they are probably better than some used ones that are out there. They have a bunch of drop targets. Like I said, I got a bunch of coil stops. Most of them are garbage, but one was good. I got these. They actually look. Um, these. I don't know what the hell these are. If anybody knows what this is, please let me know. I have no idea. I have no idea what the hell that is. I'm guessing it was on a valley. This is for our valley pop upper. So yeah. There's more than ten dollars worth of good stuff in there. Use pop bumper rings. I run into those where I need them every now and then. This was five bucks. This was a deal for five bucks. Well, I don't need these. This is Sorcerer. I don't need them. I got a whole bunch of um, factory screws, some, some posts in here, some plastics, some lane guides. This is all good stuff. You know, you work on pinball machines like I do, you run into some used stuff. This looks like it's a sticker or something. I have no idea what this is, but it's a sticker. You run into pinball stuff like I do. Here's a cable that's probably garbage. But um, every now and then you just need some of this odd stuff. There was two brand new flipper links in there two of these brand new in a bag these are definitely useful they are new there's no flex in them there's two of them in here those they are definitely useful these may be useful these are door switches I will test them to see if they are this one's got some junk that leaked on it, so maybe it isn't, maybe it is. If it's garbage, it's garbage. These coils, which are probably garbage. And a cap, a couple locks with keys. These are always good. I just gave one away, except for this one. Key shouldn't be coming out both ways. 
quite well. But there was two locks in there. Uh, coil stuff did it clearly not good. Here's the other lock. Key comes out. Yeah, this is a good lock. So yeah. It's a perfectly good lock that I can put on a game that doesn't have a lock. All my machines I get, I, I use the same key. But yeah, this, this is all full of good stuff. Like I said, this. But yeah, good stuff here. This is the junk I gotta go through. Find out what the junk is and throw the junk out. Keep the good stuff. Well, the end of that bag. I'm gonna crumple that bag up and stick it in the garbage because um, it was garbage. All right, what do we get in a smiley face bag? Well, this is pinball parts or not. This is actually good stuff. So what do you think's in here? Better yet. What do you think's in here? This is something I've been looking for for a while and I finally got it. Let's look in here. This is a lot for what I got. Jeez. Once you see what's in this box, you'll it'll blow your mind. Oh, look at that. Another box. These are made out of glass. Excuse me. Must have been two ounces. This is a four ounce bottle. Damn. I didn't want a real big one like this, but oh well. Um, this bottle here, the nipple part on top is falling apart. I didn't know these. I, I guess these are two ounces. Well, this is a four ounce one. So I got two four ounce bottles with two new eyedroppers. are glass. You now you can tell they're glasses by you bite on them and if they break in a little bunch of pieces in your mouth, you know they're glass. So, yeah, I don't want four ounce. Apparently, um, I don't know how to judge bottles when I um, order. I just saw, you know, the, the glass eyedropper bottles and I'm like, oh, okay, four ounce. Not even really looking at the bottles I had and realizing you can only get like two shots in there. Oh, well. I don't know how it's going to fit on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Last bag. So yeah, MGC was a blast this year. Total awesome. Loved it. You should have been there if you weren't there. If you were there, if you said hi, thank you so much for <coughs> stopping by and saying hi. If you're afraid to say hi to me, don't don't just come up and say, hey Mark, you're awesome, you know, or whatever. Um, just stop and say hi. I've, I've met a lot of nice people this weekend. I haven't met anybody that was, you know, not nice, put it that way. I enjoyed talking to everybody. I did at Midwest Gaming Classic. There was nobody that I didn't want to talk to. Not one single person. So, 
We all go to that convention because we have one thing in common, which is playing games. Um, we all may not be good at it. We all might be pros at it, but like Dan Lucen said, it takes strangers, and the minute you're playing a game, like he said, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if you're playing that by yourself, and a minute somebody comes right next to you and drops a quarter in, you two instantly have a bond and you're, you're there for the same purpose. You both got the same likes and um, it's, it's just a cool thing. And that's what I love about Midwest Gaming Classic. It's a cool thing that everybody that was in that building all had the same interest in me. They all were there to have fun. They all were there for gaming because they all love gaming. We might have not loved the same games, but we love that spirit. So it was, it was an awesome show. It was, every year I always say it was the best show. So thank you all for stopping by and saying hi. And if you were afraid to say hi or if I was busy, I'm sorry, but next year. All right, what do we got in here? What do we got? I'm looking. Dave knows what this is. Oh yeah, this is in good shape. <laughs> Meteor. Okay, if you follow me at all in what I do, um, and if you follow Dave's Arcade, you will understand that Dave's got a Meteor, and he re recently upgraded Meteor with a whole new gaming program system where this game actually will talk to you now and stuff like that. It changed a whole Meteor game. Well, it made the game 10,000 times more cooler and more interesting to see. Therefore, I needed to see the movie. And as soon as I'm done watching the movie, Dave's gonna watch the movie. <sighs> Jeez, that was a long unboxing of stuff. So yeah, I figured out, um, I'd bring my cool Midwest Gaming Classic Hall. What is this guy's name? Brian Allen? I think his name is. Let's see if we can look up Brian Allen, I think. Pinball? Yeah. Brian Allen Pinball. Flyland Designs. Man, this guy does just beautiful work. Um, portfolio, t-shirt design. Man, I'd love to have this guy on. Do some artwork for me. It's just artwork that he does is just phenomenal. Man, it's beautiful. I'll stretch some dark. Yeah, just look at what he does. My computer does not show you. It's all like pixelated and stuff because I got it zoomed in. But go to www.flylandesigns.com 
A N D D E S I G N S. I'll try to put that at the bottom of the video. Um, I know you just did this Hellraiser play field. And why isn't this guy doing play fields for like Stern or um, JJP or Chicago Gaming? Those are the three that should hire him. work he's got is just beautiful. Wow. So yes, check him out. I will try to put the, all that info in the bottom of the video. I'll try to, but man, his, his art is just phenomenal. I just love it. This art is just wicked cool. So anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my Midwest Gaming Classic haul. And um, um, my pinball parts are not. So you got like a bonus cool video out of this. I didn't really have a lot of parts, so I figured, well, my haul, I would just do that and make it one big cool thing. So anyways, you know the thing, there'll be cool stuff along the bottom here. Give me a thumbs up, get your finger out your nose and hit the subscribe button. Yes, I'm talking to you that's over there, get your finger out your nose and hit the subscribe button. Everybody else, please subscribe. Um, like 70% of my view viewing time are from people that don't subscribe, which if you're coming back and back and back again over and over, I'm clearly doing something you enjoy. So. Yeah, smash that subscribe button and the like button. And um, this guy, Brian, I'm going to put his link in the uh, description so you can check out the, the beautiful stuff he does. Um, I did not get a discount on this or anything, trust me. It just, when something is awesome, I'm sharing it with you regardless or not. So I paid full price for both of my shirts. I didn't tell him nothing about that I'm doing this, so this is all because his work is awesome and I'm sharing it with you. So again, cool stuff down here. Give me a thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button. And thank you for watching to the end and later.